here. Good morning. Welcome to your Ontario Regional Council. I feel honoured and privileged to be standing amongst such amazing group of leadership up here on stage. This council is an amazing opportunity for us to build our union, to both celebrate our victories, but examine our challenges and to build a plan of action for 2018. This is my first year getting active with the union more and I'm really enjoying it and seeing the whole scope of what is uh, possible and how I can help and the amazing things that we're actually doing as a group is pretty wonderful. The council is just full of energy. There's people here that have been fighting for the last year since we were last together, fighting for better collective agreements, better pensions for health care, fighting at the bargaining table and uh, fighting to improve the, the labour laws within Ontario. And we're also looking ahead. We're looking ahead to next year with a major fight. We're looking to try to achieve PharmaCare nationally. There's just so much going on and everybody is here. They're at the mics and there's a lot of, a lot of energy in that room. Our members were at seven out of 10 hearings for Bill 148, including Sister Jody Nesbitt, president of Local 240, and Sister Sue McKinnon from 444, who spoke so passionately about their friends and family members who were affected by domestic violence and needed a strategy to flee the situation they were in. It was very, at first, intimidating um, because you, you know you're you know you're coming into especially the conservatives that that really you know you know don't support Bill 148 or anything in it. So it was it was a little intimidating, but I felt empowered by the stories that um, I got to share and the experiences that I had. Mm -hmm. Uniform members have participated on the political front. They've participated in major campaigns that, uh, for certain, uh, at the end of the day, uh, produced the kind of results that the membership within those respective local unions and communities expected. 100% of us in this room will be affected by mental health in some way, shape or form in our lives. So it's not something to be afraid of. We've trained over 400 people voluntarily with the Mental Health First Aid Program. We have an ongoing support program with our wellness committee, our mental health moments. When you get the 270 pound driller that walks in your office and asks you for help with an anxiety issue, you know that the program is working. I am your sister. I am your friend. Together we transcend. Like you, I am strong. Like you, I am capable. Like you, I am soft. Like you, I am vulnerable. I am your sister. I am your friend. Together, we transcend. These costumes are from the movie adaptation of the Margaret Atwood novel, A Handmaid's Tale. We chose to wear these today to highlight the ongoing attacks on women and girls around the world. Now, I'm a rank and file right now, so I go back to the workplace and let my members know, or let the other rank and file members know what's going on in the union and what might be coming in the future. I'm chairperson of the uh, my um, Aboriginal workers of color, so I'll be going to the caucus here tomorrow. So that's my main concern is to build a contact list and to help people. We will also be asking local president to support Aboriginal and workers of color committees in their local. And we're not talking about token committees. What we're talking about is committees that are going to be progressive and active. Medical Labs of Windsor has 11 facilities, 90 employees, pretty well a monopoly in the city for blood work. 90 workers. Out of 90, 86 of them are sisters. Never been on strike, didn't have a clue what, the, what, what was going to happen. And I can tell you that it was one of the proudest moments I've ever had as a leader in the union to go to that picket line and watch a group of sisters stand up to an employer and, more importantly, make it a national discussion both in Ontario and at the legislature uh, in Ottawa. This strike opened our eyes up not only to the union, but to believing in ourselves as more important than just being going to work for eight hours, doing something and going home. It was more about becoming solidified as a union, having more confidence in ourselves to say, we're doing our job and we're doing it well and we deserve to be treated in a better atmosphere than what we were having before the strike. In June 2018, uniform members are coming out. They're gonna mobilize, they're gonna come out and they're gonna make a difference in this election. This is the time to start talking and, and saying, you know, who is, 
which party is standing up for what? Who, who's the party that is going to help Unifor support their ideals? We can't elect a former Harper MP as Premier of this province. We can't have it. I'm telling you right now, this province is not moving backwards. We're not going to let it happen. And so we're going to do what we do best. We're going to engage our members. We're going to spell out the issues. We're going to flood the airwaves, knock on doors. We're going to be strategic and we're going to elect as many progressive candidates as we can, including our own Nikki Lundquist and Wayne Gates. In next year's Ontario election, we definitely have to make sure we put the people into power who are going to be there for the working people. And to do that, I myself will definitely hit the streets. We have the depth to make this happen. We have the capacity, we have the leadership, and we have the activism. The members that are in the room today, their heart and soul is in this union on making sure that we progress forward with good social policies. So I have no doubt that they're going to be able to deliver and execute on this.